guys, wonderful good afternoon from Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm unfortunately leaving the country today, going back to Delhi and I'll be flying Nepal Airlines once more, but this time in economy class. So after I experienced their business class, so let's see what their economy class uh, product is all about. So let's go to the airport. Kathmandu is Nepal's largest city, as well as the capital. It is home to roughly 1 million people and located right in the heart of the country. Many of the historic sites though have been destroyed during the devastating 2015 earthquake. However, the country has mostly recovered and is getting ready for the big Visit Nepal 2020 campaign, encouraging tourists from all over the world to visit Nepal. Good luck! So guys, sorry for interrupting today's video. I just quickly want to say that great content requires great sponsors. That's why this video today is sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in like very interesting fields. And it also has helped me, especially to master my GoPros because you guys always ask which camera I use. This is what I use and I learned a lot uh, from Skillshare as well as to master my iMovie skills. So it was very helpful to take my content to the next level. So whether you want to learn something new or you want to master something, Skillshare is the platform to go to to gain some extra knowledge. So the cool thing is for my subscribers, Skillshare is giving away two free months of trial. This is the link here, but you can also find the link in the description uh, box below. So uh, you can access all their content Content, like all their classes it's really helpful and then after those two months I think it's also still pretty cheap it's like ten dollars so try it out gain some new knowledge from home you can sit on your couch and just learn it like this don't no need to go to university or anywhere else so why not um, for me it was very helpful and now let's go back to Kathmandu and see what Nepal Airlines is all about A 20-minute taxi ride separates the city center from the airport, depending on the traffic situation. Taxis are usually cheap and cost you around $5 to $8. It can be a fun ride, especially during the daytime. Welcome to the airport, here we are. So with around 7 million passengers every year, Kathmandu International Airport runs beyond capacity and the average delay here per flight is sometimes beyond two hours. Um, yeah, and the airport was opened right after the Second World War. Um, and considering that the airport is on a very high altitude, it's around 1,500 meters, the runway is actually also very short with only 3,000 meters. Uh, the standard is around 3,800 meters and it's also an airport that has no instrumental uh, landing support systems, which means there's no ILS, um, which makes it one of the hardest airports to navigate in and out to. That's why there have been a lot of incidents and accidents here in the past past years so um, and after takeoff it's very interesting because it's surrounded by very high mountains up to like 3,000 4,000 meters the airplane actually has to circle around the city to gain altitude and then leave this little part and then continue their journey so it's a day flight so I'll be probably able to capture a, very, a few very nice views That's Royal Bhutan Airlines, Airbus A319. It's an airplane or an airline that you don't get to see that often. It's beautiful. I've been to a lot of airports, but I would say that uh, 
Captain Lewis Airport, probably one of the most outdated. Kind of looks like a bus stop. Not even Kabul was that bad. So everything here is happening solely through bus boarding, um, or you just walk from this little departure hall right into the aircraft. This is how it works here. It's a kind of like boarding, but not boarding. So we made it from the departure hall into the, I don't know, from the pre-departure hall into the departure hall. Um, but there she is, the Airbus A330, um, named uh, or baptized Anna Corna. So whatever that is or whatever it means, please let me know in the comment section below. I really would like to know. But yeah, my seat is 8A. Uh, and I promise you, we're going to have quite some nice views. So let's do this. My first impression of the cabin, neat and tidy. The new Airbus features 274 seats in total, respectively 18 in business class and 256 in the back. So and welcome on board the Airbus A330 here in economy class. It comes in a 242 configuration, something I really enjoy. And this is the latest white body, that's the first white body uh, they've ever been operating. Uh, back in the days they had a 757, which <coughs> excuse me, which is no longer in service, two of them, and now they replace them with these birds. Um, what I really like is it comes with personal entertainment, uh, which is great. It has a USB slot. I think the seat pitch is a bit tight, but then considering that they don't have any flights which are longer than three hours uh, for now, uh, I think passenger won't mind too much. The crew is lovely, and that was something I really had to point out on my flights to Kathmandu that the crew was super lovely and super professional as well. So the airline is currently uh, figuring themselves out again, they're reinventing themselves. This is why they leased these new aircrafts, two of them, two wide bodies, two narrow bodies like the Airbus 320. And they'll be, uh, they're going to introduce flights, direct flights from Kathmandu to Osaka. Um, they plan to do this earlier this year, but there wasn't much demand, uh, not much flights were booked. Um, so they have moved it to a later state. Um, of the year, but as I said, they're trying to reinvent themselves, they're trying to start uh, or initiate their hub here in Kathmandu, and there's a new airport coming as well, so um, from my first flights, I was very impressed. So if they continue their current path, um, I can see them to have a really bright future. But let's see what the flight is like, what the economy class product is like, what the food is going to be like, uh, and the service, uh, and everything combined, and then I'll give you a full summary um, once that flight is finished. The Airbus also features the Rave Centric, the latest and most modern in-flight entertainment system with 70 movie choices in total. So it seems like I'm very lucky for now there's nobody sitting next to me. Um, there isn't many people left to board the airplane, so that would be jackpot. Before takeoff, the crew would hand out wet wipes and with a small delay of just one hour, and trust me, this is a small delay for Kathmandu, we were all good to leave for Delhi, India. Now lean and enjoy the beautiful scenes rocketing out of Nepal's wonderful capital, Kathmandu.
Shortly after takeoff, the crew would kick off the lunch service. Chicken rice was the only dish available on this flight, and to be honest, it was pretty good. I also need to point out that there aren't many airlines in this part of the world that offer hot meal service on a 90 minute flight. Well done, Nepal Airlines. Shortly after the meal service, we would get ready for our descent into New Delhi. So guys, welcome back to New Delhi, India. Uh, 70 minutes flight, hot meal, in-flight entertainment, a great Bing view, a lovely crew. Um, yeah, perfect flight, flawless. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I can strongly recommend Nepal Airlines if you ever have any doubt, go for it. It's been really a lovely experience. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think of Nepal Airlines. Do you think they have a future? Are they gonna sustain themselves? Or is it going to be another belly landing? Um, well, if you don't mind, please subscribe. Um, put on that little notification bell right there so you will always be informed when I post a new review. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as usual, wherever you're off to, have a safe trip. Bye.